Hi everyone, it is Lenny here with, of course, Mr. Rocky, and we are here to do our comparative analysis with A Brave New World and Gattaca. Yay! Okay, so we are going to get right into it, and I'm going to go ahead and start. So, when concerning Gattaca and Brave New World, I do believe they are quite similar once you really look into the text itself. Um, they are both have the premise and s plot different, but once you really dig deep, you can see the similarities. So Gattaca is a world based upon valids and invalids. The valids are the genetically perfect human beings that uh, have their traits picked out before their birth. Invalids are the naturally born human beings that are not perfect and do not have the same life as a valid does, which is perfect. So Vincent Freeman is a invalid who dreams of going up into space. He enlists the help of Jerome Eugene Merrow, who is a uh, valid but is paralyzed due to him trying to commit suicide in the years past. So he uses his DNA and his genetic makeup to get into Gattaca and to gain a spot onto a um, launch for space. So after, um, so that's kind of like the basis of that with A Brave New World, you have these humans, humans, I guess you call them humans, that are predetermined before their birth. There is no natural conceiving of anything of any sort in this book. It's planned and decided before the egg and the sperm are even do their thing. Yeah, you have the alpha, beta, delta, I'm missing one. Alpha, beta, delta, uh, Epsilon, Gamma, sorry, that one. So with A Brave New World, you have the John who is, knows there's something wrong with this world and you don't always have to be happy. Um, Brave New World has come to the point where everything is pre-decided. Everything is stability and community and identity. There is a point, there is a quote that I just want to input right here. A squat gray building of only 34 stories over the main entrance, the words Central London Hatchery and Conditioning Center, and in a shield, the world state's motto, Community, Identity, and Stability. So, when comparing to Gattaca, here's another quote. Um, this child is still you, simply the best of you. You can conceive naturally a thousand times and never get such a result. So... You can kind of tell that Gattaca is still based on like these humanist kind of people while A Brave New World is all about just science making them and doing all that kind of stuff. So in each of these stories you do have the hero in um, A Brave New World you have Bernard and John in my opinion and in Gattaca you have Vincent Freeman who opposes the genetics of what he was given and he opposes that what people tell him is impossible um, he goes out of his way to stand up for what he believes in is right and you know they had this quote in Gattaca um, they used to say that a child conceived in love has the greatest chance of happiness they don't say that anymore so when concerning Gattaca and A Brave New World, they're both not conceiving naturally. They're both about either perfection like Gattaca or stability and organization in A Brave New World. So Vincent is comparable to John, I believe, more than Bernard. Um, because John is someone who feels that there is something wrong with the world state. And he wants nothing more than to be changed, than there to be changed. Um, you know, he doesn't all, he knows that you don't always have to be happy. And he 
he's okay with that. So um, you have the genetically perfect and imperfect in Gattaca. You have the valid and invalid separating the world. And so Vincent is looking to overcome his own genetic makeup. And in A Brave New World, you have these systems that are predetermined. Once again, you have the alpha, the beta, the gamma, the delta, and the epsilon. Um, the technology has all of the control. There's no individual freedoms. There's SOMO and there's alienation in both of these worlds, but mostly in A Brave New World. Um, you have these conflicts of these um, classes that really separate the world. And so there is one thing that's I want to put in. Um, in A Brave New World, the director says, Bakanovsky's process is one of the major instruments of so social stability. And in Gattaca, it's, I belong to a new underclass, no longer determined by the social status or the color of your skin. No, we now have discrimination down to a science. So once again, both of these kind of have the backbone of science and predetermining the life that you're going to live, whether it be the perfection and deciding to create a perfect child or a brave new world where it's just the putting them into a class as they believe is right and as they believe that they're supposed to be hatched as. So in A Brave New World, John attempts to stop uh, the world state and Vincent um, succeeds in becoming the invalid that is a valid that nobody knows of. Um, they are, um, so the rebels, once again, John and Bernard in um, A Brave New World, they rebel against the world state and um, they question the means of happiness. And for Gattaca, Vincent um, rebels against the harsh reality that is his genetic um, makeup. And so you have them both questioning the state. Uh, Gattaca, Vincent refuses to be involved in a life where genetic technology analysis, analysis and plans your future sort of thing. So with Gattaca, the obsession to rebel is kind of like the obsession of proving to his family and himself that no matter his genetic makeup, he can still succeed. And the end result with these books is actually, this is where it kind of differs. So with Gattaca, Vincent succeeds, and he does go into space, and he accomplishes his his dream. With A Brave New World, John didn't really have the strength to continue on and rebel, and he was not happy with himself, and that's kind of why he failed. So at the end of the day, the world, both of these worlds have these neat outlook and they're very organized and um, they're figuratively the perfect world and it doesn't specifically say who is in charge in kind of like both of these it's just like the government and you know we are trying to be perfect for uh, the state controls the society and someone who isn't valid and invalid, they don't really meet the state standards as an invalid. So the state like fears identity theft and Brave New World doesn't really have that problem with identity theft because everybody is who they are and you can tell by the looks and what they wear, etc. So that is pretty much it with my comparative analysis with Gattaca and uh, Brave New World. One thing I do want you guys to think of is are we heading towards a Gattaca and a Brave New World? Alright, that's it. Me and Rocky are signing out. Goodbye. Ta-ta. See you soon.